There are big changes coming to one of the most notorious intersections on Vancouver Island. Police say the Sayward interchange on the Pat Bay Highway causes slowdowns, backups, and accidents. After consultation with the concerned community, the provincial government says it's listening and is ready to make some changes. CTV's Louise Hartland has that story. Pat Gillen always looks twice when he crosses the street to his house. Yeah, you always hear cars screeching at night. Uh, even during the day, you know, there'll be rear renders or the little fender benders, and uh, the, the, the intersection is pretty bad. Gillen lives at the corner of Sayward Road and the Pat Bay Highway, an intersection ICBC calls one of the most dangerous on Vancouver Island. Uh, we're into the hundreds of collisions a year that we're attending. And, you know, every collision then affects all the thousands of commuters traveling here. Saanich Police Sergeant Mike Barkley agrees. He says the majority of crashes involve rear-end collisions during rush hour, but he has experienced worse. Over my career, I've attended many fatals here as well. That's what makes this one of the most dangerous intersections we have, and it comes down to volume and the geometry of the roadway. On May 27, 2005, a 41-year-old man riding this motorcycle died when he ran into the back of a pickup truck. Today, the provincial government says it is announcing a plan to try and stop accidents such as this. The ministry says it worked with people in the community to help identify the key safety concerns, provide feedback and make recommendations. We are investing $3 million in safety upgrades at the Sayward intersection. It will be a phased approach. The first phase will be the overhead sign. The sign will be northbound on the Pat Bay, south of Cordova Bay Road, warning drivers of congestion ahead. Other improvements include a new northbound deceleration and right turn lane, a new southbound right turn island, a northbound acceleration and merge lane, and a new bus stop pullout south of the intersection. Saanich's mayor says the changes are long overdue. Our community, our council have been saying, please address the safety issues at Sayward. And all of a sudden, things started to move forward. Gillen welcomes the improvements, but he says he will always remember what has happened here. You've seen the accidents, and you've seen the, 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 the injuries that have occurred here, and even the deaths. Uh, I always take a double take whenever it goes through this intersection. A habit he hopes he can give up when safety improves in this notorious intersection. Louise Hartland joins us now live with more. Louise, when will we start seeing these improvements and changes on the Pat Bay? Andrew, the government is not wasting any time. Groundbreaking will begin on the construction ahead, or sorry, congestion ahead sign tonight. It is expected to take a few days to complete. Drive BC is warning drivers to expect delays between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. until the 18th. Construction will start on the other changes in the spring, so 2013. All right. Thanks, Louise. You're welcome.